Welcome to One Chemistry. Always try to do your best. Now, let us see about 100 conversion in organic chemistry. We are seeing it as episodes. We are progressing much. We are in the episode number 74. If you didn't watch previous episodes, I encourage you to go and see. Here, we solve 5 problems step by step. Stay tuned. Let us see the question number 1. The starting metal contains benzene in ortho position is substituted with silyl and methyl group and other end it has silyl and quaternary ammonium salt. You are using the quaternary salt with fluoride counter ion and you are using the trans alkene with both E and ester. Here they ask you to find the product. The products are mostly cyclized one. The stereochemistry is important. Whether the COOME is in syn to each other or anti to each other or methyl groups are syn to each other and anti to each other. Here you have to understand that the reaction involved basic cyclization and definitely new CC bond is formed here. The answer is A. Let us see how. The starting metal contains silicon, you are using the fluoride. So what really happened is silicon fluoride bond is very strong. So it tried to remove by itself as a leaving group so the bonded electron travel and it also remove the quaternary ammonium salt so you have conjugated dye in there as a product so both things are removed trimethyl silyl as well as quaternary ammonium salt you have the conjugated dye information and you have alkene which is attached with two electron withdrawing group which is ester so you have dye in and dye in file situation so what really happen is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition happens here stereochemistry is important. 4 plus 2 cycloaddition is a just formation of new sex member ring. So what is interesting is the cycloaddition is a syn addition. There is a no change in the stereochemistry during the cycloaddition. So the trans position maintained as anti and others are remain as a syn there. Here you have to learn two important things. Whenever you have silyl and you have fluorinated agent, you might think of its leaving. Fluorine makes silyl group is a good leaving group. Second thing is cycloaddition. The cycloaddition is a syn reaction. During the cycloaddition, there is a no change in the stereochemistry occurs there. So everything is retained. Then the question number two. The starting metal is cyclized in acidic form and it has the ester attachment at methyl, which is on the end. And you have ethyl mechanism chloride. You are using the titanium isopropoxide, which is at the low temperature. Then you have 4 puzzle products, one is cyclopropane ring formation, one is oxidation, one is new carbon addition, another is continuous addition of the carbonyl carbon. So you have to guess the product from the titanium reagent. So from the reagent and starting metal you might guess one naming reaction is involved and new CC bond is definitely formed here. The answer is A. Let us see how. The starting metal contain titanium catalyst and you have the ester carbonyl there, you might guess it is the Klinkovich reaction. It involves the formation of cyclopropane at the end, but we will see step by step. First step reagent reacts with the Rignard reagent. You have the new titanium ethyl formation. You have two isopropyl replaced by two ethyl ring. Then the second step olefin metathesis happen, meaning the two carbon carbon bond form there among that one attached with the titanium. In the titanium you have the ester reaction which is the starting material. The starting metal attached with the titanium and you have the 5 member ring. I given a number for your understanding. So titanium, oxygen and alkene form 5 member ring there. Next step thermal condition promote the ring opening. So ring open, what really happened is new cyclopropyl ring is there. One two bond is breaking and two four bond is formed there. The CK3O also removed during the cyclization process. So new cyclic ring which is cyclopropane is formed and the titanium IT also with oxygen. So next step you are doing workup or you can say simple solvent workup. You have all the world there. In simple term glucose reaction says that formation of cyclopropane in the carbonate. So CO converted into CCC. Alkene attachment. Here you have to learn two important things. One is Klinkovich reaction which involves olefin metathesis and form the alkene. 
second thing is the functional group conversion this is a very unusual functional group conversion co converted into cyclopropane here then the question number three the starting metal is linear system with diene and you have ester group and two methyl group the alkenes are in the cis form and they ask you to find the product here is the magnesium chloride the products are cyclized one so definitely cyclic reaction is occurred there the five member ring or six member ring are just a substitution reaction here stereochemistry of addition also important whether the addition happen above the plane or below the plane or all are in the plane here you have to understand that this is a special reaction and definitely cyclization occurs there and the answer is a let us see how starting metal you have dialkene so you might think of the yin reaction or somehow you have to induce the cyclization there so it involves six member kind of transition state the hydrogen transfer occurs you have new five member ring formation so new bond forms ch bond breaks you have cyclopentane formation is there cyclization is a concentrated reaction it is a syn process this reaction is technically called alter yin reaction which is pi bond and alanine CH bond participate in the pericyclic reaction. Here you have to learn two important things. One is you have to imagine a structure for a reaction. Always the structures are given as a straight chain. You have to look at the functional group and guess the reaction and you have to rewrite the structure. Here it is alder in reaction. So you write it for that with five member kind of arrangement. Second thing is alder in reaction is cycloaddition reaction. Then the question number 4, the starting metal contain linear system with silicon and alcohol there. Silicon and alcohol are in the antiposition, where is in the base. They ask you to find the product. Here 4 products are given, the products mostly on the alkene formation. The alkene is formed in the cis form or trans form or silyl is removed or not or oxygen is removed or not. So it's a typical question there. Here from the reagents and stereochemistry you might guess it's a naming reaction involved and definitely alkene configuration is the real question there. The answer is B. Let us see how. Whenever you have silyl system with alcohol you might think of Peterson elimination but Peterson elimination is a syn elimination so we have to redraw the product. So if you redraw OH below will come. So it's the same molecule only single bond rotation. So you have the same then the proton abstraction anion is formed. So anion is formed it has to be quenched. So anion attacks silicon. Why it is possible? Because silicon has vacant T orbital it's behave like L profile. So new silicon oxygen bond is formed then the syn elimination occurs. So since the elimination is a syn elimination it is a cis product. So the answer is clearly B. Here you have to learn two important things. One is Peterson elimination. Peterson elimination is a syn process, so you have to imagine the molecule in the syn way. You can rotate the bonds and get the reaction in the syn position. Second thing is the product alkene always the syn product in the Peterson elimination. Then the question number five. The starting metal contains four member ring which is attached with long chain group which have CO and the ester of benzyl group. Here you are using the rhodium catalyst. They ask you to find the product. The products are cyclized one. So the ring size is real question. Whether the five member ring or six member ring or position of carbonyl or the side ester group is the real question. Here from rhodium catalyst and reactant, you might guess special intermediate is involved. From the rhodium reagent and reactant, you might guess special intermediate is formed and it involves cyclization. The answer is A. Let us see how. The starting model you have CO carbon with active methylene group. You are attacking with the acid group. Here the big reagent only supply the acid there. So it's an acid attack and N2 formation. The mechanism is very unique. If you are interested go on C. Because you are attacking N3- minus with CH- minus, which is active methylene group. If you want you study separately. Then the next step you have CO and N2 so the possibility of carbon formation. So you are using the rhodium catalyst carbon is formed there. So the carbon is formed it is very much reactive. 
So what really happened is the car wind tried to quench itself by insertion. So the insertion happened. So insertion between NH bond occurs, new CN bond formation is there, which is answer A. Here you have to learn two important things. One is whenever you have N2 group with electron withdrawing group, you might think of carbon formation. Then the carbon quenching pathway can be NH insertion. Then the second thing is here carbon quenching can be like CH insertion, here NH insertion. That's all from this episode. I hope it was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion comment below. Stay tuned for next episode.